Elon Musk has again made headlines, not with announcements regarding rockets or electric cars, but with an eye-opening forecast that has garnered waves from the scientific community and beyond. This time, his target is a body in the universe that has intrigued astronomers for centuries, Betelgeuse. Musk states that the enormous red supergiant star, among the largest and brightest in the sky that can be seen from Earth, is on the verge of exploding into a supernova in two weeks' time. What makes his threat all the more disturbing is the fact that the impact of such an astronomical phenomenon would extend to Earth, especially certain areas in the northeastern United States, such as New York, Connecticut, and New Jersey. The notion of Betelgeuse supernova isn't new. Scientists have long speculated over its destiny, pointing to the strange and erratic behavior of the star. But Musk's specific timing is what took everyone by surprise. Although astrophysicists confirm that Betelgeuse is in its final stages of its life cycle, no one has had the temerity to call for a countdown until now. Musk's history of making outrageous, off-the-cuff observations begs the question, does he have inside information that the average citizen and even some professionals do not? In order to appreciate the significance of his assertion, it is important to recognize what Betelgeuse is from an astronomical perspective. Situated in the constellation Orion, Betelgeuse is a red supergiant about 640 light-years from Earth. It's so huge that if it were moved to the center of our solar system, it would engulf Mercury, Venus, Earth, and even Mars. Its enormity is unimaginable, about 700 times the diameter of the Sun and more than 10,000 times brighter. It glows so intensely that it can be seen clearly with the naked eye, particularly during winter in the northern hemisphere. Although having a serene, reddish color in the sky, Betelgeuse is essentially a ticking astronomical time bomb. Scientists have been watching Betelgeuse closely over the last few decades. It has been unstable at times, most notably in its brightness fluctuations. One of the most significant events was between late 2019 and early 2020 when Betelgeuse decreased dramatically in brightness, so much so that even amateur stargazers registered its disappearance. The event caused mass speculation that the star was heading towards going supernova. However, after a few months, Betelgeuse started to brighten once more, and scientists determined that the dimming was probably the result of internal processes combined with the creation of dust within the outer layers of the star. Nonetheless, the question remained, was it a false alarm or the start of the end? It is extremely hard to predict when a supernova is going to happen. Stars such as Betelgeuse can exist for millions of years, and although they can show evidence of age and instability, actually identifying the moment of collapse is well beyond the capability of present technology. Astronomers employ instruments like spectroscopy, photometry, and infrared imaging to quantify temperature, mass loss, and variability, but these provide hints, not proof. Which is why Musk's assertion is so inciting. A two-week time frame indicates either fresh data or some undisclosed information that may reorient our knowledge of stellar demise. In intriguing fashion, some in the scientific community have reiterated portions of Musk's fears, although with much greater circumspection. Theoretical physicist Michio Kaku has, for instance, debated Betelgeuse's destiny and conceded that it's indeed possible that it is approaching a supernova event. Kaku, though, refrains from concurring with Musk's particular timeline or warnings for planetary consequences. He opines that while a supernova might be within reach on an astronomical timescale, i.e., at any time in the next 100,000 years, it's unlikely to pose a direct danger to life on Earth. When such a star as Betelgeuse goes supernova, the effects are spectacular and violent. A supernova is the catastrophic demise of a massive star. After all fuel for nuclear reactions in the star has been exhausted, the star can no longer resist the pull of gravity, and the core begins to collapse. This is accompanied by a gigantic explosion that shoots shock waves and radiation into space. For a brief period, the light from a supernova can outshine an entire galaxy. In Betelgeuse's case, it could become so bright that it would be visible during the day and cast shadows at night, an event unlike anything witnessed in modern human history. Musk's primary concern lies not in the visual spectacle, but in the potential radiation effects. He also proposes that the explosion might release tremendous gamma and cosmic rays, types of high-energy radiation that are capable of affecting Earth's atmosphere and technological systems. 
by his advices, regions such as New York, Connecticut, and New Jersey might encounter disruptions from satellite communications to electrical power grids. Gamma rays, in particular, are problematic due to their capacity to remove electrons from atoms and thereby damage electronic equipment and disrupt communications satellites. The waves have the capacity to change the chemistry of the upper atmosphere of Earth, which causes issues such as ozone depletion. Cosmic rays, or high-energy charged particles, also have the potential to cause harm, particularly to satellites and even to high-flying aircraft. While Earth's magnetic field and atmosphere give substantial protection, a strong burst from a supernova might briefly overbear these shields. Such occurrences, though uncommon, are not wholly unprecedented. Scientists have conjectured that some earlier mass extinctions on Earth might have been partly caused by supernova radiation coming to the planet. However, it's worth keeping in mind the distance. Betelgeuse is about 640 light years away. That is quite near in cosmic terms, yet far enough to provide a natural shield for most of the lethal radiation. Most scientists consider that although we may see a spectacular light display, we won't be catastrophically harmed. The overwhelming majority of the gamma and cosmic rays would attenuate and disperse before they could reach Earth. That being said, there are still potential weak points. In today's highly connected world, global reliance on satellites and electronics means that even minor disruptions can have wide-reaching effects. GPS systems, communication networks, and weather monitoring tools all depend on satellite technology, which is especially sensitive to radiation. A strong enough burst, even if not lethal, could result in temporary malfunctions or signal blackouts. Musk's warnings, while alarming, tap into very real concerns about our dependence on fragile infrastructure. In a world where a few minutes of downtime can have rippling effects across financial markets, communications networks, and air traffic control systems, the potential for space weather cannot be ignored. There are also biological consequences aside from technological concerns. Cosmic radiation does carry some risk to individuals at high altitudes like pilots and astronauts. While exposure on the Earth's surface continues to be low due to the atmosphere, individuals staying for prolonged periods in high-altitude locations could experience an increase in radiation levels. Although not likely to produce immediate health problems, long-term exposure would likely contribute to higher cancer risks or other health issues. Astronauts aboard the International Space Station or upcoming travel to the Moon or Mars would require additional shielding during such an occurrence. In spite of all these anxieties, the majority of astrophysicists are cautiously optimistic. They feel that the explosion of Betelgeuse, when it happens, will be a scientific windfall rather than a catastrophe. For astronomers, observing a supernova in real time is the observational nirvana. It would provide an opportunity to gather precious data on the evolution of stars, the production of heavy elements, and the influence of supernovae in sculpting galaxies. Telescopes worldwide would be focused on the event, taking every detail as it happened. The buzz around such an explosion is not merely academic fascination. Supernovae are crucial to life itself. The material produced in these explosions, such as carbon, oxygen, and iron, is the raw material of planets and, eventually, life. Watching Betelgeuse die might give us a better understanding of how our own solar system and planet were formed. It might also improve the models scientists employ to forecast future cosmic activity and further reveal the life cycles of giant stars. Public curiosity about Betelgeuse has picked up since Musk's remarks, with amateur astronomers across the globe keeping a watchful eye on Orion. Both professionals and amateurs are monitoring the brightness of the star day by night, hoping for even the tiniest fade or flicker that could indicate the start of its demise. Social networking sites have become filled with hype, comparisons of satellite data, and astrophotography, making Betelgeuse an unexpected viral hit. As the countdown continues, eyes are still on Betelgeuse. Musk's ambitious prediction has already given added significance to the watch, even if his timeline is off. No matter whether the explosion comes in two weeks, two decades, or two millennia, one thing is certain, Betelgeuse is an evolving star, and its grand finale, whenever it occurs, will be a moment of historic proportion for humanity and science. 
Meanwhile, astronomers are still collecting information, cross-comparing space, and ground-based telescope observations. They're studying spectral signatures, light curves, and infrared measurements to look for any indication that a collapse is about to occur. Even if Musk's prediction doesn't come to pass in the next two weeks, his prediction has once again sparked worldwide interest in one of the universe's most captivating phenomena. The possibility of witnessing a supernova with the naked eye, a luminous burst that could linger in the sky for months, is a rare and profound reminder of the dynamic nature of our universe. It illustrates how even the most ancient and distant stars still hold mysteries that challenge our understanding, provoke our curiosity, and occasionally spark a little fear. Whether or not Betelgeuse blows up any time soon, this moment is a strong reminder to gaze up, consider our position in the universe, and enjoy the wide-open and wild universe we live in.